Hey everyone, welcome back to Serious Eats at Home. Uh, I am not at home, I am in a different home than my last video because I am house sitting and I have a little more space, a little more kitchen space. And I am cooking today a little trick for cooking vegetables. Uh, it's like a really quick way to get a nice side dish on the table in the time that you would say rest the steak. All you'll really need is a cast iron or carbon steel pan and some nice fresh vegetables. This is a method that I use all the time for charring vegetables like asparagus or cabbage or snap peas, depending on the time of year. Today I am charring asparagus. Before cooking the asparagus, I seared off this bavette steak in just a little bit of vegetable oil over high heat. Uh, turning, you know, every so often till I got nice sear and it's just out of the pan and resting. So we're gonna use the same carbon steel pan that we use to cook the steak to cook the asparagus. And that's what's really nice about this method of cooking is that you're able to cook your side dish in the time that it takes for your, you know, meat to rest if you're cooking a steak or a chop or something like that and you get to use the same pan. So it's kind of that like one pan meal type deal, but you're not cooking everything all at the same time. Uh, the asparagus will cook really quickly and we're going to go into a dry pan. So the steak was cooked with a little bit of oil after it came out of the pan. I just gave it a quick rinse and then got it going over high heat with no fat whatsoever in the pan. For cooking the asparagus itself, all I did was trimmed off the very ends. So oftentimes you'll hear people talk about, you know, break it between your, you know, hold it and break it and where it breaks is where it's supposed to be. Oftentimes that you end up wasting a bunch of asparagus that way. You really just need to cut the sort of, you know, half inch or so off the bottom. Not all asparagus spears will cook at the same rate. Got, you know, little thin ones and big, big, big boys over here. You know, we just gotta cook them at different times. So I just separated the really thin spears from the really thick ones and we'll just cook them differently. Uh, I'll just cook, start with the thick ones. So we're cooking over medium high to high heat, depending on the size of your burners. You're seeing some smoke come off the pan right now. That's just a little bit of residual oil from cooking the steak. You can, you know, wipe that out with a towel. So going in, with the asparagus and you just want to get it in a single layer and then try and get as much even contact with the pan as possible. If you had something like the chef's press weights that I really like using for cooking, uh, this would be a great moment to use them, you know, press down on them, make sure that you're getting even contact, but you could even use something, you know, like a, a nice little uh, can of tomatoes or something like that. Make sure that you're not like totally crushing your asparagus. And what we're looking to do is to get nice even char on the spears on one side and we'll, then we'll flip them over. With the thin ones, you'll probably end up just cooking, just charring them on one side because you'd end up overcooking them if you tried to char both. No fat in the pan, also no salt or pepper right now in the pan. Uh, if you've ever cooked asparagus, you probably know that salt has a little trouble adhering to asparagus. You just sort of throw it in there, it bounces right back off. And you kind of need fat to be in there with the asparagus in order for salt to adhere to it. So we are going to wait to season the asparagus until the end when we add some fat to the pan. And once in a while, you can just sort of check how things are developing with your char. It's looking good. And you'll notice as the asparagus cooks, it'll start to get more vibrantly green. I hate when you get asparagus and it's all droopy and sad. For me, asparagus, when you cook it, it should just start to like bend under its own weight. And we'll see what that looks like in a second. Oh yeah, some of these are really nice. You see how like, you know, when we started it was like this and it's just starting to come droop down a little bit. So we're real close and it's not going to be the same for everyone. See this one's so thick, it's going to take a little longer. Once the asparagus charred on both sides, you're getting that nice droopy action where you want it. 
I'm just gonna go in with a touch of vegetable oil and then we'll toss and season with salt and pepper as well. So, working quickly, just a touch of oil in the pan. Season with some salt, pepper. And out. And now we're gonna move on to the thinner ones. Cooking these less because, you know, they're thinner, they're gonna cook faster. So we're really gonna just char them on one side. Uh, again, get your carbon steel pan ripping hot, no oil in the pan, and same process. You can weigh them down again. These are thinner, so going with a super heavy weight like the can of tomatoes that I was using before might not be the best idea now because I don't want to damage these asparagus spears. I'm just going to press on them with my hands. You can use, you know, tongs, the back of your hand or whatever. Because there's no fat in the pan, there's no risk of like, you know, fat splattering up and burning you. As long as you don't touch the pan itself, you'll be fine. <laughs> These aren't all the same size, even for thin ones. This one, much thinner than this one. What you can do is either start with the thicker ones in the pan and then add the thin ones to make sure they cook at the right rate. Or you can just take the thin ones out for a second while you let the slightly thicker ones finish cooking. And then you'll get them back in to finish cooking at the end. We're getting that droop that we're talking about. Perfect. So we'll get the small ones back in touch of oil, a little shake, salt, just a little bit, tiny bit of pepper, and out. That's it. All you have to do now, slice your steak, plate up your asparagus again. You don't need steak, you can just have nice charred asparagus with the sauce of your choosing. Uh, right, for this one, I'm using a nice little chimichurri that I made with some herbs that I picked up at the farmer's market because it's summer. I don't want to cook and have another sauce that I have to worry about that's hot. Uh, so I'm looking for like low lift, easy sauces. I really love eating asparagus this way. Still got some flex to it. It's not hammered. It's not, you know, shrivelly super, super soggy or anything. And it's just a really simple, nice little side dish that you can put together, you know, weeknight, on the weekends. You just don't wanna, right now, I don't wanna be spending a ton of time on side dishes. I mean, the key is that we didn't overcook the asparagus. That, I can't explain enough to me. I really don't like overcooked asparagus. And this is really nice can tell the color's still vibrant and green. It's still got nice chew to it, but it's not raw or anything. And I just threw some across the room. Perfect. Don't put that in the video, Joel. Cut. Okay. 